In this video, we will look and learn at hammer turns and how they can generate speed of the hammer. Hammer turns generate further speed onto the hammer, more than just the swings and the delivery phase. You will reach a stage where no more distance can be achieved, so turns must be implied. Adding turns doesn't mean you forget anything you have learnt so far, everything will be important as you'll be joining all the stages together. As stated in our previous video, any throwing of the hammer implement must be done in the hammer cage. Under 18s must have a qualified coach present at all times. For this activity, you might find it easier using a pair of hammer throwing shoes or a pair of trainers with a flat sole. Ok, let's get started. Don't worry about holding the hammer or what the arm should be doing yet, we're only looking at the feet. There is only one way to turn, with no substitute. Feet travel in the direction the hammer does. This will be the right handed turns, however if you are left handed, it will be exactly the same, just turning in the opposite direction. Start with feet shoulder width apart, just as we would have done if we were doing swings. Legs must be bent. Left foot transfers to the heel, while the right foot turns on the ball of the foot. When feet have turned to the 12 o'clock position, the left foot transfers onto the ball of the foot. As this happens, the right foot lifts from the ground and lands at about 11 o'clock. On landing, both feet should be on the ball of the foot. When lifting the right foot from the ground, it should only just come above the left side's ankle. This is because it needs to land on the floor as quick as possible, so the hammer is in the correct place to reduce the risk of pulling you out of the circle. Here, my right leg is way too high. This is not what we want to see. It will, however, take a few practices. You might find it easier to hold a brim between your neck and shoulders so you can just focus on your feet. Try not to look down too much. Let your feet do the work. Let's now talk about the arms and the head. Arms follow the direction you are travelling as well as the hammer path. Remember we talked about the height and low point in our previous video. For the turns, it also comes into place. The highest point of the hammer should be when the feet have turned to 12 o'clock, all the way to when the right foot has lifted and landed at 11. The arms will then transfer down into the low point and then into the delivery. Arms should be nice and long and not bent. The head follows the arms. Do not let your arms and head lead the hammer. The hammer should always lead you. It might be helpful to hold a wooden stick or a golf club to pretend you are holding the hammer. Again, it might take a few tries. When confident, why not try with the hammer? Choose a hammer weight that you feel confident with. All it is, is adding three swings, one turn and a delivery. Don't forget all the things you've just practiced, but also the things you've learnt in our previous videos. Things to look out for. Overturn, when the foot lands too late because it's delayed landing, or the hammer entry from the swings was off and not in the centre. Underturn, landed too early causing a delivery in the cage. Bent arms, arms must be long. Entry point, must be in front of the body and not late. Straight legs. Legs must be bent for balance. And lastly, don't stamp the foot down when landing. It does have to come down quick, but it does have to land on the ball of the foot. Here's a quick recap of what you've learnt about turns in this video. What the feet should do in a turn, and how the legs should be. Where the arms should be, and where they need to be for the high and the low points. How the head should follow the arms. Do not let it lead the hammer. And finally, some of the common errors and things to look out for, such as underturning and overturning. When you feel like you're getting the hang of it, feel free to add more than one turn. All turns are exactly the same, however they do get quicker on each one, as the hammer head increases on each turn. This is one of the videos part of our hammer throwing series that will help you progress to becoming a better thrower, or to even try a new athletics event. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and check out some of our other great videos. To find out a little bit more about us, check out our website and social media pages on screen.